Hmm. I wonder if Hybrid Racing dropped anything new for the next gen. Bro. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Man, I can't wait to get this. That red looks so good. Man, I want the red. If only if. Hey, man, I heard you on the ninth gen shifter. The... Did you just talk to me? Oh, uh, yeah? You're the only one here. Bro. Uh, what did I have? You really talking to me right now, bro? You don't think I'm real? In two seconds, your door bell should ring. This should be a package outside. First, the dog's talking to me. Now, it's telling me I have a package that's gonna be outside in 30 seconds. What? I swear, if there's a package outside from Hybrid Racing, I'm gonna freak out. Nothing. Of course. What? What the hell? Yo. You. Bro. This can't be. Bruh. I'm throwing that doll away. It gotta be possessed. What is this? It can't be, bro. I just looked at you, bro. You must be kidding me. Yo, I got a genie. I got a genie. Playboys, welcome back to another video, man. As you guys seen, I got a little delivery from Hybrid Racing. I want to give a huge shout out today from Hybrid Racing for sending this short shifter to me. It means a lot, and it's actually nice to see a big company work with such a small YouTuber. Also, if you guys are interested in buying this short shifter, the link will be down in the description. You can use my code Zuby to save some more money. And if you buy it right now, I think it's I think you get it for literally like a little bit over three hundred dollars, and that's that's crazy, bro. So definitely go do that. Use code Zuby to save some more money. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside the box. So I'll just show you guys literally the shifter. Also, they are available in two different colors. They got dust red, which is what I have right now. And it's also dust black. And also, I really like the name of this because dust, dusty. Dust, dusty. Get it? Ah, it's so fire, bro. So this is what comes inside the box when you order your short shifter. Comes with your short shifter, of course. And after that, comes with this little packaging. Inside the packaging is your uh, your shift knob, well, where you attach your shift knob at, which goes on top of your shirt shifter, which goes right here. So, that's a little example. And then after that, comes with all the necessary things needed to install it. So your nuts and your washers, your, uh, I forgot what these are called. I don't know if you guys know the names of these, but I forgot what these are called. If you can focus on this, but comes with those. It also comes with this, which I don't know what this is for. Well, I guess I'll figure it out today, but it also comes with this right here. Some little spring. And, uh, comes with two stickers, which is our, you know, I already put inside my room, and I already have one on side, on, on the top of my laptop, and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, and it comes with two, two little instruction cards, 
But yeah, man, that's what's inside the box. So don't need this no more. Bruh. Let's get installed. Man. Let's get it, man. That's how I'm gonna be banging gears. Boy, if you don't. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do to install the short shifter is you wanna take off your shift knob. So mine's pretty easy. I just have to twist it. It comes off pretty easy like that. Boom. And uh, take this off. Boom. A lot of people ask me about this shift knob. This is a Likewise shift knob. I bought it from Likewise probably a year ago. And I love it. It's pretty decent. It's pretty, not too heavy. Definitely weighs a little bit more than stock. Now I'm going to take off my Acuities. Uh, what's it called? Quick release. Shift boot collar thingamajiggy. Take this off. And now I should be able to let's just pop everything out. So let's get it. So to remove this console right here, all you have to do is get a flathead like this. And I like to stick it over here. Pause, no homo. I like to put it right here. If I could get it in. Make sure you don't scuff and damage your what's it called, your uh, console. But once you get it in, just twist. Twist. Twist and boom, it's out. Like that. So, you make sure you put your e brake all the way up so you'll be able to take it out. And then uh, it's gonna be your connections for your HDMI, your USB, and I think your power outlet. So what you wanna do, you just wanna unconnect those and uh, this be able to come out. So I'm gonna do that real quick, put you guys on a tripod because doing this with one hand sucks. So I was able to remove the USB plug and also the battery plug not the battery But you know the cigarette lighter plug I couldn't get the HDMI because my fingers sweat and then you know kind of sucks when your fingers sweat and you're trying to grip on something But yeah, I'm just gonna move that out the way have enough space to you know do what I got to do So now what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna remove this part of the console So what you do is open up your glove glove department. That is definitely not called a glove department But I'm gonna let you slide then uh, I think you just pull up. From my memory, you just pull up. So yeah, let's do it. goodness look how nasty and rusty everything looks down here <sighs> that's disgusting Ugh. I'm gonna clean this up real quick well that didn't make a difference it still looks pretty dirty but not as dirty as before all right guys so what you want to do now you want to remove your brackets so I already have these unloosed so I'm just gonna remove these you can use your screwdriver and it's gonna be uh your screwdriver and then right here it's gonna be another bolt that's a 10 and it's gonna be one on the other side I don't have that one in because I already been in here to install a different short shifter but yeah that's what you're gonna do those are tens and these are screwdrivers once you take this and those out you'll be able to pull this out because you see right now it's already a little shaky and then um, also you want to remove this one too remove this to get access to remove those bolts these bolts right here are also tens and wait are they tens let's see i think they're 12 actually no these bolts right here are 12s and those small bolts right there are tens so yeah man let's get it <laughs> So there's gonna be this big old pipe that's gonna be right here. Oh, I guess you call it a pipe. I don't know what to really call it. But yeah, it's gonna be right here. All you wanna do is pry it up and you'll be able to move it. It's really simple. It sits like this. 
it sits basically like that inside. So all you gotta do is just pop it, and then you'll be able to move it. And that's really it. Now you have access to, you know, those are the hardest things to do so far. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this, but literally what you wanna do, you can use a screwdriver, or you can use your finger like I just did. Why is it so dark? All right, bet. So you can use a screwdriver like I just did, and you're gonna pry this up. You can do it on both sides if you want to. Pry this up, and then this is supposed to spin this way and on on a release. You're gonna have a little difficulty trying to do it. If you have like a big pliers that you could use, it'll be way easier. I don't have pliers right now, so I'm just gonna use my hand. But before you do that, you wanna take out these little, uh, I guess you could call them safety pins. You wanna remove these. Focus, focus on that. Come on, there we go. So you wanna remove that. And there should be another one, I think. I can't really see right now. Uh, no, I think that's only one. Yeah, so you wanna remove that. You can use your fly head and pry that up. That should be able to come out. And then, then you can, you know, remove your shifter cables, which is gonna be a little pain in the butt, but y'all can do it. All right, guys, so with a little fighting and a lot of effort, I was able to get the short shifter out. Well, this short shifter out. It's pretty easy, like I said. All you have to do is basically turn it. It's gonna be pretty difficult to push it out, but just keep it turned down. If you have pliers, and make it twice as easier, but you turn it counterclockwise, and then uh, you push it out and that's really it same thing with this one this one stuff going to the left it goes no yeah this one goes counterclockwise too so you put it counterclockwise and you just push it out and then boom man that's really it so I got it out pretty simple I don't know if I explained this part to you guys but this part right here is gonna be on this part of the short shifter well not the short shifter but this part of the stock shifter that little ball joint you see right there if the camera will focus on it but yeah it's gonna be right there all I did was use my two fingers I used my thumb and my my index finger and I just opened it and I pushed it down and I was able to get it free and uh, make sure you don't lose this little piece of clip right here because if you lose that you gonna be in some deep trouble boy so don't lose that but yeah man now we can put the short shifter in that bad boy right there just looking at me like hey Hey, I know you see me. Put me in. All right, let me stop. Let me. That was. That was so weird. I don't know what the hell I just did right there, but let's get the short shifter in. So what I'm gonna do just to do it because it's done to my stock shifter. I'm gonna add a little bit of Vaseline right there because I don't have like grease lube and Vaseline will work perfectly fine with this. So I'm gonna add some Vaseline right there so it could be slippery. Well, it's not slippery, but like smooth, I guess. Uh -huh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm just going to add some Vaseline there just because that's what's done to my stock shifter. And uh, I don't have no issues with shifting. So let's put some, put some Vaseline on that. The next morning. All right, guys. So this is day two. Uh, yesterday got pretty dark, so I stopped filming. Uh, I was struggling a tiny little bit installing the shifting, uh, the shifter cables. Um, for you guys, what I recommend is to... Once you turn it fully counterclockwise, you'll be able to lock it and you'll lock it. And what I recommend is when you're putting inside the slots, just use all your force. And make sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lined up be, in between the black and the gray. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you, you get it in there and you push as hard as you can. If it's not budging, then you should check to see if you actually have it in the right spot. Uh, most of the time, I was messing up on the right one. The left one, I got in pretty easy, but the right one was giving me, like, pain in the butt, bro. But I did it eventually. But yeah, man, the shifter is in. Cable's good. I do want a new shift knob now, even though I love this shift knob. But, like, it just looks awky, and it's so big, and this, this, the shifter's so slim. Like, it doesn't just... It don't look nice, bro. It don't look nice. But I already ordered me a new shifter or a new shift knob, so that should be on the way. If anybody's interested, hit me up on the DMs. I will be selling this. Um, I'll definitely sell it for cheap because I think these retail for like $80 or $90. I'll sell it to somebody for 60 or 50 something. So just hit me up. I will sell it with the shift boot. If you guys want the shift boot too, I can make like a little combo. I'll sell it for like $90 or like $80. And uh, yeah, man, sad to see the shifter go. Well, shift knob go, but hey, look how good this is. 
Look at that. Short as hell. Look at that. Mm, that's third. Look at that. Mm, that's third. One more time. One more time. Mm, that's third. That's crazy, bro. But yeah. Feels so good. Really, really solid. Look at that, man. Plus, I have the DN springs. Well, I have hybrid racing DN springs because hybrid is the way to go, bro. Hybrid racing parts, crazy. But with the DN springs for hybrid racing, it makes it like crispy, so notchy. Like, it's beautiful. I love it, bro. But yeah, man, this is where I'm gonna end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys wanna go purchase yourself a hybrid racing short shifter for your 9th gen, the link is gonna be down in the description. Use code Zuby to save some more money. And today is gonna be the last day you can get a big discount on these uh, hybrid racing parts. So don't miss out. Go use my code, go get some discounts, save some money, and get you a 9th gen short shifter for under $300. Well, a little bit over $300. Also, I'm gonna be doing a review video on this in a week. I wanna get to get it, to like, you know, get a feel of it and see what I like and what I don't like. And I'll give you guys an honest review video. And uh, yeah, man, so I'm gonna end off the video. I think I said that already, but whatever. I'm gonna end off the video here. Your boy's out. Please like, comment, subscribe. I said that so backwards. Your boy's out. Peace.